<laughs> Ladies and gents, this is your personal virus and it is a pleasure for me to welcome you back to our Minecraft Let's Play. Today I'm fully dressed as you can see, I even have shoes, yay! Am I not looking fancy? <laughs> but uh, we are not here to look at me, we are here to look at the world and the world is not rendering in. <laughs> there we go. And there you see what I want to show you first off. It's my idea for the window design for our smeltery and I like it, I really do. It's supposed to be, I hope you can see that this is supposed to be an anvil. And then we go with bluish colors. Um, the anvils we will only have in the very big windows, but I don't have them in everywhere just yet because I am lacking black stained glass and I am lacking ink sacks, so I can't make any more at the moment. But we are not going to work on this today. We're going to do something totally different. Look at my inventory. Uh-huh. All the saplings in the world. All the wood that I can find. Some string. Bones. Oh, chests. Iron. Coal. Loads of eggs. Hmm. What are we up to? Something totally different. Like, really. Um... We're going to go. Yeah, it was nice here, but that's it. <laughs> Bye world. We're not coming back here. <laughs> no, we will come back here, but we will also leave. Yeah, we will go into a completely new area and start working over there because as much as I love it here, it's kind of always the same, isn't it? I mean... It's cool with all the buildings we've made so far and let me show you something I had to adjust but I don't know I feel like it would be cool for for the series in general to have another area that we are working on uh, it would be good for me because I'm starting to grow tired and bored of everything here every now and then and it um, I think it'll be more interesting for you guys as well so look what I had to do here. I'm not liking it. I really am not. Um, it turned out that the chicken didn't fly as accurately as I thought. They are quite regularly landing on some of these blocks in that 3x3 three three there. So I have water there for now, pushing them. And it would be way better if I made it a 5x5 five five because then I could have proper water really pushing them into the center but this thing looks so bulky and huge already and I don't want to make it any bigger oh no I mm, I wanted to go fully prepared you know a full stack of food and whatnot but yeah I will say goodbye to this area for now I don't know for how long maybe not for too long I will get back here anyways to grab more stuff and it's not so far to where we are going let me show you another quick thing. Very, very tiny adjustment, but very important. Glowstone, right there. And why? Because look at this screenshot. Mm -hmm. He shocked me. <laughs> he spooked me out to no end. So yeah, glowstone, very important. I would love me some sea lanterns there because they look so cool. But um, I checked where the next sea fort would be in my world and sadly I've been exploring quite a bit already. It would be about 2000 blocks away and yeah, not so great, not so keen. Oh, the waterfall says goodbye. Goodbye waterfall, we will be back soon. So I also uh, adjusted the way, the path here a bit and I started to work on a proper way down here. So now we have one of my bendy curvy roads that continues until there and what I have in mind for this area um, we won't tackle that just yet but I want to build kind of a forsaken outpost you know uh, rundown buildings like really maybe burning buildings and whatnot and it'll be all dark and gloomy and mobs will be spawning and we will try to avoid it but uh, it'll <laughs> I'm always stumbling over that. It'll it'll look really cool from afar. Um, this tree I will leave. I'll just turn it into a custom tree, I think, and make the way come through it. But we don't have too much time to waste on details like that. 
because oh that's stupid why did i do that <laughs> that's not cool at all um yeah because we have plans oh yeah this goes through here no stairs here just yet then we will have a bridge yeah which i haven't built yet but i shaped it out and let me quickly show you how it looks so oh Ooh, oh my gosh yeah that's it um down there is actually lower than up here so it has kind of an odd shape but i like that <laughs> i like the odd shapes as you know i like it curvy and bent and a bit quirky grass is spreading on here oh well let's let it spread so the road will continue over this bridge oh, we have Hi. Hi. Can I help you? Thank you. I'll actually take that. You never know. Road will continue over here. And what we find next is another whoop, leg spike. <laughs> it's another leg spike. Another area I want to work on. Right here I want to have a little fishing hut. Yeah. A little fishing hut and a little farm area. Because this looks so pretty. I love the grass color. It's my favorite Oh, I am very sorry, sheep, but I think I have to kill you because I am out of... No, I won't kill you. Yeah, yeah, he's he's so adorable with his... Isn't that cute? Not at all annoying. There's a cow. So yeah, little fishing hut will go here, but later, later. These are all my future plans. Plans that I had when I started this world and I knew it would take a while to get them all finished. How many sheep do we have here? Sorry, but we have enough to get rid of some of you. I need the wool. I really do. Um, I need to get up there now to show you. Oh, I find sheep so annoying. You have no idea. Um, I am lost now. <laughs> <laughs> Who would be surprised? I am lost. Yeah. But I think it's around this corner. I was contemplating taking ender pearls with me. I have 20 now. Oh yeah, I've definitely been here. And uh, I am wondering. I think up here was where I found the horses actually. Yeah. Here you still have the fence post where I had them leashed. So we should be in a plains biome here, are we? Are we maybe? Plains, yeah. Here were a bunch of horses, no not here, they were right behind here, all in this spot. And here is the village where I got my villagers from, for the iron golem farm. Here is another sheep, this looks, I'm just distracted by it. Wow, just like that, wall cut off. Hmm. But really cool terrain, isn't it? Amplified terrain. Looks so cool. Mm, loving it. Uh, this village is really odd though. Not only is, this, uh, is it odd because of the amplified terrain stuff, but also it is the tiniest village I have ever seen. You have this house, this church or tower thingy. There's... Um, ouch. What is it? A pond? Like, I blocked it off because they love to run in there and to die. I gave them a little field, so I think they have a farmer. Yeah, farmer. Do, do your farming thing. But I'm actually... Mm, I'm actually not even sure if they are new villagers or old villagers. Oh, but... <laughs> I only have two wool. We are in trouble here. Let's get out of here. I wanted to show you the village actually, but... I don't want zombies to raid these guys now. Sheep, perfect, perfect. Come here, sheep. Sheep, save the day. It's actually a quite nice plane here, isn't it? Um, ah, guess who doesn't have a crafting bench even? All of it, all of it. Crafting table. I hear you, but I don't see you. Uh, if you don't mind, then you could leave me be. I'm, in, I'm so panicking right now, which is really unnecessary. <laughs> it's not my first night out, but I'm so scared for the villagers. All right. Get this and get that. Oh, I repaired my pick, by the way. I think I did it 
someone during the last episode. I really, uh, well, the thing out, it was down to two hits or so. Oh no, I actually didn't repair it. I replaced it. I had another efficiency thingy thingy, but I have the old one still. So just quickly showing you that village, put some more doors in so they would hopefully breed. How did you get in here? Don't I have that blocked off? No. Okay. And it looks like they are breeding. They are definitely becoming more and more. But yeah, this is the tiniest village in the whole world with a lot of villagers. And back there is another one, another village. We will head over there. So our path will continue some way through here. We might extend these villages, make them proper ones. I don't think I will connect them. It'll be cool to have two. Oh my gosh. Look at all these cows. <laughs> okay. Cow heaven here or something. Jumpy, 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 jump. I hope the video quality is better. I have done a lot of playing around with OBS and the different settings there. And I'm actually using, uh, like I have an i7 processor and they have an integrated graphics chip as well. And I am using that thing now to uh, handle all the, I'm showing you this village while talking here, in case you're wondering. <laughs> Uh, maybe I focus on that first and then we talk about the other thing. Yeah, let's focus on this village. It's it's really cool. Kind of into the mountain. Kind of really um, lonely house up there. I really like it. One of the field areas spawned in that cave there, I believe. Can we make it over there? Yes, we can. How did you get there? You're forever alone. Didn't it spawn? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, never mind me. I was really sure. Oh yeah, no, it's up there. It's up there. <laughs> it's partially floating, supported by dirt and partially in a cave. It's just, in amplified terrains, these villages look so odd. How do we get up there now? I don't have any blocks. Of course I would not. Uh, I take that coal actually, if you don't mind. Hey, why? I am full, are you kidding? Okay, we have mutton, I believe. Can we make it? No, we can't. No. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Feather falling. There you go. Because I knew something like this was gonna happen. And it looks like I have been here before because that looks like a man-made path. Hi, dude. Uh, hi. You know, from up there, don't fall down here. Yeah, glad you understand what I'm saying. Okay, let's take another route then. Let's make sure we eat. What is that? What is that? Are these, oh, just pumpkins, okay. Uh, we are almost at the area I want to build it and let's get back to the processor talking stuff. So this graphics chip on my i7, it's usually turned off as soon as you have a proper graphics card in there. Um, I turned it back on and tell it to now handle the, like my graphics card is doing the rendering, but this graphics chip is doing the transferring of the data and the processing of the data. So that does seem to work a lot better, but still I can't do it in 60 FPS. Not possible. Seems like my PC, even though I thought it is quite strong, is not strong enough for that at all. So I'm sorry. Oh, we are here. We are here already. I wanted to do a grand reveal, but eh, I guess. I guessed. That's it. <laughs> this is our area here I want to build with you guys. And maybe we make ourselves a boat real quick. I should have picked the Death Strider boots. Um, but we will have a little port town. Like, you know, we will have a harbor. We will have a cave behind this waterfall. Um, I'm playing too many games that involve the sea and ships at the moment. <laughs> I'm playing Monkey Island, the pirate game. I'm playing Stranded Deep with our little life raft. 
So yeah, I felt like I need to build some. I'm, I'm so inspired right now. And I hope you don't mind that. So this is the area in general. And I think to start off, we will build ourselves a little house, a little hut, just our survival house. It will be down by the beach somewhere. And I am sorry for all the floating. I hope you don't get seasick. I will get out of the water right away now. What do you think? Where should we put it? Oh, floating dirt island. I will so get rid of you. I hate floating dirt islands. Like these tiny ones. I'm tempted to build it in that spot, but that would be a super small starter house. Hmm. But what do you guys think? Do you like the idea of starting over completely new? Like we're not starting over. We're not abandoning our old area. We will get back there. We will continue on the cemetery and everything. Oh, these are... Yeah, let's build it over there. <laughs> oh, that was totally planned. Uh, we will go back and forth. But I thought, why not start another big project so we can work on multiple things at a time. That's just more variety, you know? I thought that would be a good idea. So what I will do now... Is that all gravel? Oh my gosh, I did not know. What was that? Oh, is that a spawner then? Have we found a spawner just now? That would be really cool. It's definitely a cave. No, no spawner. But we have our first cave, which is good. Maybe it is a spawner. Where are all these zombie noises coming from? Hmm. Aren't I? Here. Where are you guys? Definitely somewhere around here. Oh! Water. Could you... They're very close. Where are they? <laughs> Where are you? Okay, it's just a regular cave. Shall we take them on? Yes! Ha! Yeah. Oh, zombie villager, zombie village. Ah, oh, no, we have a village. Very close to here. We're not too much in need of him. Alright, but before I get distracted here, um, I will get to building. That's what I brought all the materials from here. Thank you very much. How convenient. And I will see you again when I've started our first little hut here in the new area.
Alrighty, we are done so far. Doesn't look like too much, but it's only a fishing shack, right? So it shouldn't look like too much. Um, I got ourselves a little tree farm. Why can I not get the word tree in my mind now? <laughs> uh, just for the basic wood, we will need so much wood for this area. Here is the little hut and it looks really plain, doesn't it? With all the birch. I use jungle as a contrast for that and I'm not 100% sure if it will stay. I don't think we should put too much detail into every building we have around here because we will have many buildings. Here we have a little, how do you call these? Uh, where we do our fishing. Fishing, fishing, let's see if we catch something. No, that doesn't work. I thought this is how fishing goes. So yeah, how far can I? <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, let's see if we catch something. Let's just leave it there. Um, to end the episode, I want to talk to you. We've done a lot of talking today. I know, I know, I know. But it's not easy to make a transition from areas like that. Okay, now we're no longer fishing. Okay, this here, I'm not sure if I will turn it into a a ship dock. Is dock the right word? Where they actually built the ships? And we will have an unfinished ship in here. That is the plan. Here will be kind of gates they can open up to flush it with water. What am I hearing? I hear strange noises. Oh yeah, here's the fishing hut. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's nothing special, but it's only a fishing hut. Around there we will have a lighthouse, or maybe we will put that even further out. This there will be our pirate's layer. That'll be really cool. We have smaller ships and larger ships in the water here around us. Uh, there we will... I don't like you at all. There we will have a shipwreck, I think on that kind of, oh my gosh, I'm so tempted to, I will harvest all these quit uh, ink sacks, right? Not squid sacks, ink sacks. So many squid around here. And that will be it. No, not at all. Um, with the shipworking area here we will need loads of houses for the workers we will have many small houses over there it'll be um, like a little seaside village like i imagine them at least i sadly did not have the chance to visit one yet and if i ever need gravel i can just come here and get it so i really hope you are wow hmm. he was looking for contact there i really hope you're looking forward to this I hope you don't mind that we leave our main base alone for a while and do something different. Uh, tell me what you think, like, if you say, oh, that's a horrible idea, don't do that, screw it, screw it, go back to the main base, we can do that. But um, if not, I'll continue over here. And with that, we shall end it for today. I hope you're stoked for our changes around the world here. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope I will see you in the next one. And I hope I got you infected. Mm.